So, um, you're doing your EPI. The experimental practical investigation um, can be quite scary. Um, some students definitely dread it, but it doesn't have to be something that's overly difficult or is really complicated. Here are five tips um, that I wanna give you guys just to make sure that when you do your EPI, you feel confident and hopefully it increases your mark um, when you finish it up. So tip number one, um, take the criteria. Just make sure you know how to do well. Look at what your teacher is looking for and make sure you hit all the key points that you need to. Don't neglect anything or overlook anything. Um, tip number two, and this is probably the most important one, uh, keep it simple. During the EPI, you can definitely be tempted to do something elaborate, but you don't have to do something really complicated to get good marks. All you have to do is to show that you, know, you understand what's going on, um, you understand the underlying physics principles, you know, you're a good experimentalist, you can take uncertainties, you can measure things correctly, and you don't have to do something really elaborate to get full marks. So keep it simple, make sure you know what you're doing. And on that note, the third tip, um, plan well. Make sure when you do your experiment, you know all the instruments that you need. You know, if you need your teacher's assistance, make sure you've got everything collected. You know what kind of graphs and data and tables you're gonna collect. Um, just be organized and um, yeah, keep everything collected and, and planned well. Um, fourth tip, your discussion. Um, this is really important. A lot of the marks in an EPI tend to fall into the discussion, so you want to make sure that you really nail um, that part of your poster. Okay, so in the discussion, make sure you talk about you know the results, why they had um, you know the spread that they had. You want to explain you know how it relates to your hypothesis. You really just want to make sure that you. Um, explain everything and how it links to your hypothesis in the discussion. Um, so that's really important. And finally, use diagrams, use graphs, use tables, okay? This is, um, this is essential, okay? So when you're collecting your results, you really wanna make sure that you've um, presented it in a way that's readable, in a way that's um, sophisticated, and in a way that um, is easily accessible to your peers and to your teacher, okay? So make it neat. If you've got tables, make sure, you know, in, um, in the top, Bar, you've got the units and the associated uncertainties. Um, you know, include things like trend lines, error bars, all those essential things when you're collecting your data. Um, but those are just five tips. Hopefully, when it comes to the EPI, you guys don't have too much trouble. I don't need recognition. I'm on a mission. Yeah. I'm paying dues. Yeah. I'm in position.